Hello, I'm Helen Bailey, and this is a demo of the new Terraform State Inventory Source plugin. This inventory source provides an easy way to add hosts to an inventory from a Terraform State file, allowing seamless integration of Terraform and Ansible to provision and manage cloud resources. The initial inventory source plugin supports the import of AWS EC2, Google Compute Engine, and Azure Virtual Machine instances. We do need a few things set up in AWX to use this inventory source. First, I've created an execution environment that includes a Terraform binary so we can run Terraform commands in controller. We also need access to a Terraform backend so that we can read the Terraform state file. To do this, we can use the new Terraform backend credential type. This credential type allows you to store Terraform configuration for any remote Terraform backend, including the credentials and other sensitive data. Here I've created a backend uh, configuration for a Terraform S3 backend. All that's required for this is to paste or drag in the configuration block that would go in the backend block for a Terraform config. Here's an example of what that looks like for S3, where it would include the bucket name, the path to the Terraform state file, the region, and then the authentication information. When this credential is used, it saves these configuration details into a file, and the location of that file is stored in an environment variable that's available to the running job so we can reference it. Now that we have the necessary setup done, we can create the inventory source. This is the inventory I've created for this demo. It currently does not have any hosts, and we will add the new inventory source. We do need to use the execution environment that includes the Terraform binary, and we'll choose the new Terraform state inventory source. We need to use a Terraform backend credential, so we'll use the S3 backend credential we just created. And the one other thing that you do have to supply is the backend type variable. And in this case, we're using the S3 backend type from Terraform, um, but here you would provide whichever backend type you're using. So now that we have that inventory source, we'll add it to a workflow. So right now I have a workflow that has one job. This job, which I'll show the details of in a minute, uh, runs a Terraform apply to provision two instances, an AWS EC2 instance and a Google Compute instance. And so what we'll do is add a step to this workflow on success that does an inventory source sync. And we'll use our in Terraform inventory source that we just created. And so what this will do is it will read the state file that is saved here in this step and it will pull the hosts um, that were provisioned here and saved in the state file and add them to our inventory. So we can save that. We'll go ahead and launch it. And while it's running, I'll show what's actually happening in this step. So it's running this playbook, which uses our cloud.terraform collection to run a Terraform command. In this case, because the state is present, we're running a Terraform apply. We've provided backend configuration information via our credential. So this is the n variable I mentioned that stores the Terraform backend credential data. And then <clears throat> because we're creating a GCP instance, we're also going to provide the GCP credential information from a GCP credential in AWX. And the Terraform config um, that this Terraform apply is going to use is in this project path here. This is the Terraform directory. And so this is our Terraform config file. 
And you can see here that it's using the two required providers, AWS and Google, because those are the cloud providers we're going to use. We've created the S3 backend block, but we have not put any configuration data there because that will be pulled um, from the credentials. And then here we're creating an AWS EC2 instance and then using the GCE credentials, um, we are creating a Google Compute Engine instance. And so if we go back to controller, we can see that this job did complete successfully. Um, so we can see here that it did create two resources with the Terraform apply. And then the second job was the inventory sync. And we can see that also completed successfully. And so you can see it has added our two hosts that it pulled from the Terraform state file. If we go back to our inventory, we can see indeed that those hosts are now available in AWX and ready to be configured and managed with Ansible. So that's the demo. Thank you for watching.